Oh, so tired. Feels like I played a hundred Dance Dance Revolution boss songs in a row without stopping. But I must press on for Mono. Hey, the heck, ah, girl. What are you doing over there? Do you know something I don't know? Wait, are you gonna eat her? No, 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 don't, don't eat her. No, I have carrots for you back at home. You can wait. Or. If you want something to tide you over, I guess you could go graze in the grass outside or something, but no, don't eat her! No. No. Anyway, yee! Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough! Something spooky is happening in this camping good, we better run for the hills! Oh no, don't worry, it's just dormant. <laughs> mm hmm? Mm hmm? Maybe it's a water-type Pokémon. No. It's a flying-type Pokémon. No, it's a water and flying-type Pokémon. Nah, really, it's just another Colossus. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Once we are back under control, we can make way for our next destination. And by back under control, I don't mean of just the camera. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go! We are off. To an extent, and my sword is put away. <laughs> Get that back out to show you the next destination. Um, it's similar in direction to where we went to before from the central location, but slightly over to the left. Like you see, uh, that was where we were last part. I see that's where we went last part. That's where we gotta go this part. And uh, as a side note, I unfortunately had a recording failure for this part, so I have to record it all over again from the beginning, thanks to a glitch that looked exactly like the glitches uh, that I had in my Pikmin 1 walkthrough for some reason. I don't know why that happens, but it happens sometimes. I just gotta suck it up and press on. But at least I can take a look at this beautiful scenery once again. Even if it means doing it because I have to, because of a recording failure. Frick it, frick it, that, that, that thing. But whatever, whatever, I'm sucking it up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Agro. Ah, I didn't mean to hit the wall there. <laughs> That's for trying to eat mono. It's <laughs> so, okay, it was more on purpose. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, first I'm going to stop over here. There's a couple of stops I'm going to do. Uh, two stops, actually. One is over here at the save temple. You can save your game, I mentioned here before, by holding the circle button like so. But I'm not going to do that in case of recording failures. And uh, in my initial recording, I actually said I wasn't going to save there because of the chance of recording failures. And sure enough, it happens. So I'm glad I didn't do that. But I have multiple backup save files anyway. Uh, anyway, what I wanted to stop here is not to save, but to look for a lizard. Yep, a white-tailed lizard likes to hang around these parts somewhere. Just scare it out or something, I don't know. <laughs> I can usually hit it- oh, it's up there, way up there. Can I, like, hit it from all the way down here? <sighs> nah, I got the bad angle. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try from here, maybe I'll be able to nail it from here, unless it's gonna loop around the front. Or something. Lizards like to wander around areas sort of kind of randomly, so yeah, it's not the most easy thing to find, I have to tell you. <laughs> Sometimes it's just finicky. Like when I played through this on the failed recording, I had a much, much easier time finding this sucker uh, because it just went out in the open here and I was able to shoot it off the wall. But no, no, this one's, this one's hanging around up top just because <laughs> maybe that'll scare it out moving you know the shockwave of the arrow or something like that Ooh, what's going up there okay let's do that oh i knocked it off the wall but i didn't kill it dang you freaking lizard <laughs> okay can i hit you over there yeah i think i got it okay now, I, don't, I was going to climb up there anyway, because I'd like to show you something. These save temples, uh, most of them are totally climbable, all the way up to the very top. And the reason why they allow you to climb up there is not necessarily to collect stuff, even though that there are sometimes stuff to collect up top, like a lizard tail. But <laughs> there's um, sights to see, basically. Remember that this game uh, focuses on being very artistic? Well, first, I'm going to grab this lizard tail. Uh, wait, did, the, did I only hit the tail and not the lizard? 
I think that's what happened. Uh oh. Well, a lizard's still hanging around here somewhere. <laughs> I'd like to kill that off before I go, in all honesty. Uh, but, uh, well, anyway, I'm gonna show you this first. Go all the way up here, and the camera will zoom out, and you can get a beautiful view of the surrounding areas. Is this not awesome? Look at that! Beauty everywhere! Alright, that's enough beauty. <laughs> I'm gonna take some fall damage. And find where that lizard went off to. Freaking lizard is giving me all sorts of trouble. I decided to save and quit. Uh, just to respawn the lizard, because I'm not seeing it anywhere. <laughs> so let's try it again from uh, this angle and see if I can find the now tailless lizard. Uh, hanging around here somewhere. It's gotta be around here somewhere, I assure you. No, the lizard seems to be gone. Maybe I did kill it or something, and it just flopped into the ground due to the ground detection or something like that. I don't know, but we will find out later. <laughs> anyway, what I want to do next is go along this path here. Not up to that path that's straight ahead, but more towards the left here, because there's a whopping ten pieces of fruit to find on these couple of trees over here. Yeah, this right here. Let's get fruit collecting. Yep, yep. This won't take too long, don't you worry. And there's two. And I think there's was two more over here. Good thing my recording failed. I'm trying to make it feel like a good thing that my recording failed. Because then I was able to scout out the area. <laughs> nah, still a bad thing that my recording failed. I hate it. I hate that when that happens. It's just... Ah. Anyway, there's two more there. And shoot down the six. Oh, I'm not holding it long enough. One, two, three, four, five. Where is number six? Number six is somewhere... Wait, is that it there? No, that's moss. <laughs> Where is the sixth one? I could have swore they were all on that branch before. Maybe they kind of spawn at different spots. I could always look up here! <laughs> oh, there it is. I see it. Okay, it was just my angle. Bloop. There we go. Alright, now let's see if I can find all six of them. Hopefully. <laughs> One, I think the rest are all down here actually. Two, three, four, five, and this last one might be a doozy. Yeah, 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 six, there we go. <laughs> Alright, now let's go over to the next Colossus. Come on, ah, girl. I'm glad you didn't run away from me. You are semi faithful at least. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to go through here, and we are going to come across a quite atmospheric area, I gotta say. You will see. Oh, you will see. Just look at this. Just like, it just changed hugely compared to where we just were. Whoops! <laughs> I didn't jump off close enough to the edge. <laughs> anyway, what I want to do here is swim over and under to... See that arch that I'm swimming through here? Oh, by the way, if you're holding R1 like this, I was just tapping R1 before and I was failing at this. I thought it was you had to tap it, but I don't know, I just ma messed it up. I'm so sorry! So sorry, but I was told that, yeah, you hold R1, you can swim faster underwater, but it uses up your stamina gauge, so... Yeah, it's not really that big of a deal considering that you're not in a Colossus fight when you're using that, so yeah. It's just that, you know, there's a limitation as to how much you can use it, I guess, at once. Almost like uh, running in Zelda Skyward Sword. Anyway, here we go. Next Colossus is up ahead. Are you excited? Well... I just defeated it today, so I'm not that excited. <laughs> but I do like this Colossus, so I'm partially excited. <laughs> oh boy! Meet Avion! The Flying Colossus. Yep, they have those too! <laughs> this area is pretty large, so... 
It would take forever to explore while swimming, but don't worry, I assure you that you're going to see a pretty big chunk of this area by the time I'm done with it. And you'll see why. Anyway, let's flop down here. Yo! And now we're going to head over to some platforms that are really close to the water. Now, there's a couple of sets of platforms like this around the area, and all of them will work, but... I, I typically like going to these first because of the way uh, that Avion tends to move uh, directly towards you when you go to these platforms first. You'll see when I get to them. And uh, it's kind of weird. When Agro. Uh, Agro. When Wander is running out of air underwater, he's going. <gasps> as if he's breathing underwater, even though his head is underwater. So that's kind of. kind of weird. What are you, Wander? You have. Incredible grip strength, you can oddly breathe underwater. I don't know, really. <laughs> anyway, what you want to do now is get its attention by shooting at it with your bow. Oh, oh, that's good enough. Okay. Now get your sword out. Wait for it. Wait for it. Jump and grab! The battle begins! And this is how you're going to see the area because it flies all around this place. So you're going to get a bird's eye view of the place. Quite literally. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, it has three Wii points, and you. There's two on each of the wings, and then there's one on the tail. I'm gonna go for the wings first because they're the squirmiest of ones, and I think I can actually drop. No, I can't drop off there. I thought I was gonna drop off straight down, but it was going too fast, and I flew. Ah, poopers. That was my own fault. Well, now I gotta reach another set of those platforms, which I see uh, blurred out just up ahead. By the way, you can pan the camera out of the water if you want a better view. But I rather like this uh, artistic underwater view. Anyway, cutting ahead. Now, when it's flying around, you gotta get its attention again, because it won't drop down to you until you get its attention. This should be pretty good here, actually, like this. Oh, no, it's gonna fly overhead first. You gotta be patient with it. You gotta wait for it to dive towards you to do its attack. And uh, I think it's going to soup around and do its attack here, so I should... Nope, it's going overhead again, that's okay. It's probably going to go uh, back over here where it has more running room. Because uh, the game's got to be fair about things, you know. <laughs> okay, this looks good. This looks good right here. Get ready, go! Okay. This time I won't drop off like a derp-a-derp. -derp. <laughs> Remember to have your sword out so you can see its weak points like usual. Alright, so which wing should I go for first? It's probably the closest one here. Not making it. <laughs> That's okay, just wait for it to move back down. We'll be fine. We shall be victorious. Eventually. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. This looks good. There we go. Now, charge up your sword as much as you possibly can for your swing. And you should be able to make the mark disappear on one stroke. Just like that. That was perfect. And can I get back to its body and recover some stamina? That would be pretty nice. <laughs> but it's I, I'm not sure if I'll be, I'll be able to get back there. It's current state. Oh, 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 oh boy. Okay, we, we are still good. We're still good. <laughs> Whoa! These wings are so floppy. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the other wing now. Oh boy! <laughs> this is so awesome. Okay, wait for the right opportunity to run. This should be good. Go, 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 go! Okay, same concept of the other wing is to stab it. With, oops. Is to stab it with as much power as you possibly can, and it should go away in one strike! Yeah! Now there's one more left, and it's on the tail. Why there's a weak point on the tail, I don't know. <laughs> but there is. Oh, I fell. I had to get myself some footing because I could tell my stamina was running low, so I had to take a risk there, and it didn't really pay off. Incoming! Yeah! Alright. Last spot is on the tail, as I said. <laughs> I don't know why it's there. I don't know why the tail would be a killing weak point, but it is. Ow. So, uh, about the tail. <laughs> Let's see if we can really do it now, okay? Okay. 
Come on, let me up. Let me up. Need to get to your butt. The butt must be poked. Here. Okay. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay. We're good. Go run, 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 run. Grab, grab, grab. <laughs> watch for the tilt. Always watch for the tilt because you'll fall off if you're not readying that R1 button when it is going to tilt. Got it? Good. Run, 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 run. Oh, boy. See, that would have been bad. <laughs> Very bad. Okay. Okay, we're back on. You can tell when uh, he's gripping, when you can actually start crawling around. And yeah, that's sort of the key to figuring out when you should be moving towards the tail, basically. It's a feel thing, basically. And uh, by the way, when you get down here, it's pretty much game over because he can't really fling you off at this point for some odd reason. Game, set, match! Uh oh crash landing? <laughs> that was a pretty hard landing, actually. <laughs> but it's done! I defeated it once again. And that was actually fun to play again. <laughs> oh no, black technically thingies are coming. I better hide underwater. They'll never find me down here. Nope, I'm perfectly safe. I just gotta make my way back to the temple quietly. I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part. End off part here.